I've mentioned the Gemini protocol in my streams a few times now, so I figured I should make a video about it. It's a new lightweight protocol for the web that's gaining popularity among some tech enthusiasts. In this video, I'm going to explain why the Gemini protocol is cool and why you might want to check it out. First of all, let's talk about what the Gemini protocol is. Gemini is a simple, lightweight, and secure protocol for the web that was created in 2019. It's designed for people who want a more focused and streamlined browsing experience, free from distractions like ads, social media feeds, and other stuff that's designed to keep you engaged as long as possible. It's also made for people who are concerned about their online privacy and wish to limit their exposure to tracking and surveillance. The Gemini protocol does one thing and does it well, while HTTP tries to do everything. Because of this, Gemini is fast and simple, while HTTP is complex and bloated. Gemini is simply an internet protocol for distributing files. Another reason the Gemini protocol is cool is because it's more private and secure than the other internet protocols. Gemini uses a built-in transport layer security, or TLS, to encrypt all traffic which makes it more difficult for others to spy on your browsing activity. And, because Gemini is still new and not widely adopted, it's less likely to be targeted by hackers or cyber criminals. The Gemini community is focused on building a better web. They want a protocol that focuses on simplicity, has a maximum power to weight ratio, and that takes user privacy very seriously. Now that I've explained what Gemini is, and why it's cool, I can show you how to use it. To browse Gemini, you'll need a client. There are a bunch of clients out there for different platforms. I use M4 and Lagrange, but everyone has their own References. There are a lot to choose from, so I'll link to Gemini Quick Start in the description to help you choose. Gemini Quick Start also links to the places to download all the clients from. You can also use a proxy such as portal.moz.us to browse Gemini from a regular web browser. Now that you have a client, you can start browsing, and I'll just go ahead and recommend you start at my own capsule at tilde.pink slash tilde anxiety. My capsule is still a work in progress, and I'll be slowly improving it to look forward to some more better stuff on it in the future. Right now, I have a section for cool stuff, which is mostly just stuff I enjoy, a blog, and content. Contacts. In the bookmarks, I have some resources that you can check out to find even more content. So there you have it. The Gemini protocol is cool because it's lightweight, simple, more private and secure, and community driven. If you're interested in trying it out, I encourage you to download a Gemini browser and see what it's all about. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.